We are about to make history. A meat maniac has prepared to make a fully roasted ostrich. I saw the devil. How heavy is this bird? Well, before it was dressed, it was 105 kilos. After it's cleaned up and uh, ready for cooking, it's somewhere around 55 kilos, about 110 pounds. What is the biggest challenge here? Where could this go wrong? You look at a little chicken drum, it has seven muscle groups inside it. On an ostrich, the anatomy is the same, but those seven different muscle groups might be a kilo each. This one is lean, this one is fatty, and you're cooking them all together at the same temperature. The meat can be just Dried out. Mark has no recipe and no guide to learn from. He's going 100% blind, using his gut and years of barbecue intuition. <laughs> Cooking will occur in three stages. Stage one, the soak. Brining in whichever vessel we can find to contain this bird. Stage two, the smoke. Bathing in a smoldering jackfruit wood sauna for about two hours. Stage three, the braise. The ostrich will be hanging out overnight in the smoker, cooking in its own juices. I haven't seen it. I'm gonna unveil it now. Oh my God, it is a dinosaur bird. The bird has been soaking for 26 hours in 80 liters of red wine and water, together with salt, pepper, garlic, and sugar. Oh, I know why this kind of bird can't fly. That is so heavy. Oh. Guys, nice work. First of all, huge drummies here. That's like the main thing. That's what carries this whole thing around. I noticed it's disconcerting how huge these feather pores are. Yeah. Look at these ostrich wings. Even this part that many people might throw away, that is the equivalent of like 10 chicken wings. And then what else? What's it? What's under here? That's, oh. that's a big... I don't need to look in there again. Before smoking, Mark tries to burn off any remaining hair and bits of feather, which is harder than it looks. The neck will be used to create an aju gravy. The wings will come back later. Time for the rub down. We just liberally spread around. And you really get it to stick to that damp surface. A blend of seasonings, including garlic, herbs, basil, oregano, thyme, and his own signature chicken rub. Swing this leg over. Oh, it's leaking again. There we go. The easy part is done. The hard part, moving over 100 pounds of bird to the smoker. Luckily, we've got backup. Dude, it's heavy. It's crazy heavy. Uh-huh, there he is. All right, it fits. It's like putting a pizza in an oven. Woo! Guys, <laughs> six up, nice work. The bird will go in the smoker for two hours at 105 degrees Celsius or 220 degrees Fahrenheit. It has been smoking for two hours now. We're gonna open the doors and reveal how it has changed. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. You got it. Undoing the latch, big reveal. It is not cooked through. This is just the beginning stage. Oh yeah, stage. we got some color on there. Wow, that looks great. Holy crap, that looks insane. It's like a purple bird. It's a little freaky, man. Stage two is complete. Now we prepare for the final and most risky stage of all. We're gonna give this bird uh, nine liters of wine. But there's a little wine to make the sunshine. <laughs> the whole idea is all the wonderful drippings that come from the bird, the collagen and everything will make a beautiful aju. Add five pounds of onion and seven pounds of carrot to the drip tray and inside the bird. Just put one in there. Yeah. There we go. Add in three liters of water, rub, and thyme. Then that neck Mark lopped off earlier. It contains a ton of collagen, perfect for the aju gravy. Finally, the whole bird is wrapped in tinfoil and ready for its final overnight 16-hour session in the smoker. Oh, okay, wait. No. It doesn't fit. It won't even fit. Let's set down, guys. Set it down? Okay. Oh, do you have a different smoker? Uh. I wasn't worried the whole time. <laughs> yes, nice and oh. easy. The ostrich is 15 hours into its brazing session with one more hour to go. But before the big moment, Mark is gonna whip up the first course. The moment has come, the world's largest buffalo wings right here before me. Mark, you've done it. First poached until they're cooked all the way through, then deep fried for about 15 minutes. Oh, weird, it's like a shell of crispiness just on the very outside. Smear it with buffalo sauce, plate, garnish, and if you're up for the challenge, Eat. Oh man, that is a lot of meat. Right here, the skin feels crispy and kind of just brittle on the very outside. I'm gonna put it in the sauce. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. 
That has a funky texture and the taste too. Low gamey, just bold flavor. Look at that bite. It looks exactly in the shape of my mouth. That right there, that's crispy skin and then a big layer of fat. You can see actual like big globules of fat cells inside of that. I just think if you rendered that fat down a little more, but uh, the flavor's nice. This is pretty crunchy right here. I'm gonna try this hard ridge. Much Ridge more, is good. It's nicer. Much more meaty, not as much fat, and very crunchy on the outside. It's just like you've never seen so much variation in one wing. Mm. This challenge isn't just about cooking the bird, but about making it taste good too. Right now, Big Bird, it's been hanging out in the smoker for how long now exactly? 16 hours with a little bit of resting time. The temperature was right, the thermometer sank in like it was going into soft butter. Big moment right now, we're gonna open these doors, put it on the table, peel back the tin foil, unveil it, let's do it. Boom, opening the door, there it is, the beast. Okay guys. Everything we've worked for has built up to this moment. Back end's coming off. One, two, three. Yeah. You got it? You have enough leverage on it? Time to see if this epic culinary challenge is an epic fail. Oh, man. Well? The tin foil is removed to reveal the final results. Oh, man. There it is, it's lost some weight. So some of this meat up here is gonna be the driest on the bird. If this is good to eat, the entire bird is perfect. Oh, is it happening already? It's so fast. You're putting it in the sauce here. Cheers. Whoa. Beef, beefy. <laughs> That's a beefy bird. Juicy, fatty. It tastes exactly like the crock pot roasts that my mom would make when I was a kid. We fucking nailed it. You happy? <laughs> Very happy. Some of this internal meat is going to be really Whoa. tender. I'm going to see how juicy that is. Wow, I can't believe how much it doesn't taste like chicken. I would say more of a turkey-like note, but also very beefy. <laughs> oh, I feel like a caveman. A dream come true. 